the computational uh, elements of the forward markets so from that dimension we are uh, looking at a few types of uh, instruments one being how do i uh, look at uh, the forwards on non dividend paying uh, stocks we would also look at equity forwards means the forwards on equity contracts probably where dividend plays a role and also we will look at the contracts on equity indexes similarly we would uh, look out for fixed income forwards forwards on fixed income securities again where coupon is involved and similarly we would uh, look at the forward rate agreements frs we would also focus on the currency forwards the forward rates or forward agreements on exchange rates so these are the five major categories of uh, forward contracts we will uh, look at and finally uh, we would also be focusing on uh, what is the counterparty risk that is involved in the forward contracts so with that as the base we get uh, started into it we'll take up uh, some numerical uh, uh, examples wherever uh, possible uh, to get into this uh, pricing aspect so whenever we talk about any of these contracts we are focusing on two dimensions one is the price of the forward contract which is otherwise uh, called as no arbitrage price right we are talking about the price of the forward contract and two we will talk about the value any forward contract it could be on equity it could be on uh, a bond or it could be on an fra whatever it is anything we are trying to compute any any forward contract we are planning to look at one we have a price to it two we have a value price is determined at the time of entry into the contract right which is a kind of a mutually agreed upon uh, price between both the parties or probably one party is uh, willing to pay this to get uh, the delivery from the other party all these are the meanings of the price which is decided on the day of entry into the contract so in a regular forward contract where there is no where there are no dividends or no cash flows intermediately we we price those kind of forwards as the s not which is the current market price into 1 plus r to the power t where r is uh, we treat as the risk free rate of return so any case of uh, no arbitrage forward pricing no arbitrage uh, forward pricing uh, we we take the spot price into 1 plus r risk free rate of uh, return to the power whatever is the time to maturity this is the typical simpler form of the price forward contract price and when we talk about the value we can talk about the value either at the initiation of the contract or somewhere so let's say if i am having a a 90 day forward contract right what is the price as on this day is what is the pricing and when i am talking about the value i can decide the value of the contract either here or probably uh, probably uh, somewhere after the contract got initiated but before the expiry of the contract or on the maturity remember uh, one thing wherever uh, the question is about value we will uh, find out the value as the spot price which means on that day whatever is the price 
minus the present value of the forward price forward price is the price that has been contracted by both the parties on the initiation day of the contract right in most of the cases we will find that at initiation the the value of the contract is zero to both the parties because no party want to make any additional payment on day zero to the other party except in case of off market forwards probably off market forward is something which i would be uh, looking as one party having an advantage over the other party on the day of entry into the contract itself which means on the day of entry into the contract this equation does not hold true probably f is either more than this or f is less than this so that is the scenario where we call them as off market because the forward price is not reflecting the no arbitrage uh, price based on a risk free rate of return so those kind of forwards are called off market forwards where one party has an advantage on the day of entry of the contract itself uh, compared to the other party and in those kind of contracts we will see that one party makes a payment to the other uh, party uh, whereas in all other cases at the initiation we find that the value of the contract is zero which is nothing but the spot price minus the present value of the forward price but any time down the lane we talk about uh, the value of the forward as the spot price on that particular day minus the present value of the forward price which has been contracted so this kind of a definition is what we 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 call as the value to the long position and uh, in case i need to uh, find out the value to the short position i take the negative of that which will give me the value to the short position just let's take a couple of numericals to get a clarity on this aspect compute a no arbitrage 120 day forward contract price on a non dividend paying stock so this kind of uh, formula s not into 1 plus r to the power t is applicable only when it is a very simple underlying security where no dividends or cash any other intermediate cash flows are involved so no arbitrage 120 day forward contract which means the expiry date of this uh, forward contract is after 120 days currently selling at 300 bucks so the spot price is 300 and the risk free rate is 8 percent so what do i get the no arbitrage forward contract price is nothing but 300 into 1.08 to the power t 120 days probably because this 8 percent is annual i will take this as to the power 120 by 365 so this is how we get the no arbitrage forward price on this kind of a security so going back into the spreadsheet to compute the same i will get the forward price as 300 into 1.08 to the power 120 by 365 which will come out as 307 307.69 right i am getting it as 307.69 so that is the no arbitrage forward price 307.69 is the no arbitrage forward price in this kind of a deal now how am i looking at the value if the spot price of the stock after one month so basically on this day we have entered into the forward contract where the forward will be expiring 120 days from today now what are we saying spot price of the stock after one month so we have moved one month into the contract 
on this day the spot price is 305 which means we still have 90 days for the maturity of this particular contract now this is where i want to find out the value to the long and short positions so if the question is about the value as i said spot price minus present value of the forward price the forward price is uh, 307.69 divided by 1.08 to the power 90 by 365 because 90 more days are left to maturity this is how i would be working it out so probably if i want to find out the value i am taking it as 305 minus 307 divided by 1.08 to the power 90 by 365 so this is working out to a positive 3.1 so which is working out to 3.1 which is a positive value so a positive value is uh, it means that for the long there is a benefit the long is positive by 3 rupees, uh, 3.1 rupees. So long is at a benefit of 3.1, whereas the short is at a loss of 3.1. So for the short, we'll say that the position is minus 3.1. For the long, it is 3.1. So this is how we will uh, try to solve the pricing as well as the valuation value of a plain vanilla instrument where there are no cash flows involved if i have to find out the forward uh, price and uh, value i would go ahead with this kind of an approach this is one model we have to be comfortable with then the next set i would like to look at here is the forward contract on any equity security which may pay a dividend if there is a dividend on uh, an equity security or if there are a series of dividends on an equity security one or more how do i get into finding out the no arbitrage forward price on that as well as the value of the forward contract somewhere down the lane for that wherever any dividend here we talk about two different cases one is the scenario of discrete dividends the other is the scenario of continuous dividends mostly uh, for stocks our focus is with respect to the discrete dividend because we know that this stock pays the dividend probably uh, annually once or twice in a particular month or something like that whereas when we are talking about index we generally consider continuous dividend for the simple reason the, the index may contain uh, 50 stocks and each stock can give a dividend on its own day so literally it looks like more or less every day or every alternate day or every week we are getting some dividends or the other so that is the reason when, when we are uh, talking about uh, uh, index, we always talk about the continuous dividend yield. Alright, whatever is the case, if we are talking about the stock, first of all when we are doing the pricing, let's say the current price of the stock is S0, what you will do is to compute the forward price, first we subtract the present value of the future dividends which means you adjust the current spot price you adjust the current spot price by subtracting the present value of the future dividends from the current spot price and after that do 1 plus r to the power t especially if the dividends are discrete in nature if the dividends are continuous, take the current spot price and take it as e power r minus d into t. So whatever is the continuous.